Hey guys, this is Andre from Hustle Knives here at Chalk Show 2024. So uh, honored to uh, be sitting beside Eric here from uh, Spyderco. Um, Thanks for coming It's uh, been great by. seeing you, buddy. Yeah, nice seeing you. Uh, reason why I uh, asked Eric to do this segment is uh, talking about MagnaCut. As we talked about before, it, it seems like it's gone like wildfire right across the industry. Yep. Uh, I, in my, my time, and maybe dating myself, I haven't... Uh, recalled seeing a steel catch fire like that across all the vendors it seems like this year at shot show everyone's got a magnet cut version of something yep and yeah, you guys it's definitely uh, got popular that's for yeah sure. and you guys being what i consider the pioneers and and leaders uh in terms of being on top of steel technologies i'd love to hear your your take on magnet cut in terms of why it's taken off the way it has oh well definitely one of the most balanced steels in the in the market today um, it's made here in the U.S. It's a powdered metal. Um, it has incredible wear resistance and toughness. Was and for knife blades, particularly for Spyderco and some of those higher grade knives, um, you want that wear resistance. You want that toughness. So it's going to stay sharper longer because of the wear resistance. The edge yeah. shouldn't be chipping out because of that toughness. Yeah. Um, and what it also brings is that corrosion resistance. Mm -hmm. You know, it, it has a very elevated amount of corrosion resistance when processed right. Yeah. Um, and so. I think it's certainly getting attention from a lot of people. We picked it up and ran with it. For us, we've even classified it as part of our salt line or our salt series. That so. was what I wanted to uh, tell our viewers because that, that kind of shocked me because uh, I know even uh, Benchmade and their uh, water series is using it and touting it has huge, great corrosion resistance. So maybe speak to that because the evolution of the salt series from H1 to H2 yep. and now MagnaCut. Uh, yeah, H1 is um, did it develop to H2. Uh, H2 is still the king of corrosion resistance. I do have to give it that. Yeah. It is the most corrosive resistant steel in the market today. And if you're going to be going for a hard, you know, a, a hard corrosive resistant or corrosive environment, something like a diver or, you know, you're working out in the ocean quite a bit, I still recommend H2. Oh, okay. um, now, MagnaCut works well. I would say that it, it can also be in a lot of those environments, but you do have to maintain it a little bit more. Okay. So it is corrosive resistant, certainly not corrosion proof. Yeah, not, um, a, not to the degree H2. Would it give the user benefit uh, MagnaCut over H2 in terms of edge retention? It will. Yeah. Uh, well, not. this is funny too. It does in plain edge, but not in serrated. Oh. Uh, because H2 you know, is a, a very unique chemistry and it's fabricated and shaped and formed uh, very uniquely, you're able to get the the, the serrations harder uh, wow. than the plain edge with H2. Where, and so, but when it comes to MagnaCut, uh, plain edge will perform better, uh, but not for the serrated. When it comes to almost every steel in the market, there are gives and takes and balances. Yeah. That's why we're still evolving it. There is no perfect steel. No, no. You know? Um, <laughs> And so, you know, one of the things about MagnaCut, you know, I, it, it's really not the best at anything. Yeah. You know, does it have the best wear resistance? No, there are other powdered metals that will stay sharper longer. Yeah. You know, a Rex 121, a Maximet, these kind of steels. Yeah. Uh, is it the toughest steel? No. You know, you get to some of these ingot grade steels, they could take a beating and deform and they're not gonna, they're incredibly tough. Yeah. And is it the most corrosive resistant steel out there? No, I mean, steels yeah. like H2 can beat it. Yeah. But is it one of the most balanced steels in the market today? Yeah. It is, is it one of the most high quality and consistent and American made? I mean, yeah. and, and that's why I think it's, so many people have jumped on, on this steel. Now, when it does get to this steel though, fabrication is incredibly important you know yeah. for us you you know the heat treat you you have to go to a sub quench on this stuff if you really want to get that that toughness out of it and that corrosion resistance out yeah of it. it's like we discussed before i always use analogy it's like you know you can have two chefs uh, cooking the same same uh, cut of steak but depending on how they prepare it cook it you can have totally different result at the end and and that's yeah big time and there's a lot of chefs in the industry yeah. <laughs> uh you know i'm very confident with, with a spider code though when you buy any grade steel yeah. uh certainly with magna cut too that, that we're gonna you know bring it to its best light yeah uh, that that's certainly something that we really focus on yeah and i think you your know. fans would expect nothing else and that's why you guys are so successful as you are oh thank you yeah uh, and then to, you know take it further we're really expanding the salt line uh, into G10 models now. You know, if you were to buy a salt knife from Spyderco in the past, you almost always saw a lightweight handle, which is great and easy to carry. It's very resilient. It lowers the cost. Um, but now we can start to expand into some of these G10s and composites and lighter materials. We just 
learn so much about it. Um, and so, yeah, we're excited to, to add it as an addition to our salt line and then expand our salt line as a whole. Yeah, no, it's impressive. See, I mean, back in the day, I'm, I'm, I'm really dating myself. All you got was yellow handles for salt series, yep, right? Yep. But now you have it basically in every color. So that's awesome. So keep up the great work. Oh, I appreciate thank you for your the time, time and insights. I appreciate it. Yeah, thank you.